2 is twice efficient as P and P can do a piece of work in 15 days. P started the work and after few days Q joined him. They completed the work in 11 days from the starting. For how many days did they work together? Here Q is twice efficient as P means Q is equal to 2 times P. This is efficiency relation. Efficiency is inversely proportional to number of days worked. Here P can do a piece of work in 15 days means if P finish a work in 15 days then Q only take half days of P that is 7.5 days because Q is 2 times efficient than P. If you take the efficiency ratio of P and Q here if P's efficiency is 1 unit then Q's efficiency is twice the efficiency of P. Then days ratio will be inversely proportional to efficiency ratio that is 2 is to 1. That is if P take 15 days to complete a work then Q only take 7.5 days to complete the same work. Here work is same so take the LCM. LCM of 15 and 7.5 is 15. 15 goes 1 time in 15, 7.5 goes 2 times in 15. That is efficiency of P is 1 unit, efficiency of Q is 2 unit. Now first P started the work. First P started the work. Then Q joined. That is after that P and Q together worked. And this total work completed in 11 days. Now you can see this all these 11 days P worked. So work completed by P in 11 days is equal to 11 into efficiency of P is 1 unit. So 11 unit is completed in 11 days by P. Here total work is 15 unit. So remaining work is 15 minus 11 that is 4 unit. This 4 unit is completed by Q. Q's efficiency is 2 unit. So 4 by 2, 2 days. So option B is your answer. Here remaining work is equal to Total work is 15 unit, 15 minus 11 which is 4 unit. This 4 unit is completed by this Q. Q's efficiency is 2 unit. That is in one day Q can complete 2 unit of work. So 4 unit of work is completed in 2 days. So number of days taken by Q is equal to remaining work is 4 divided by Efficiency of Q is 2 which is 2 days.